Okay. Yeah, it's at a good thing point. it's a thousand pound test because that beast of tough, the old oh, terrier he's... in your truck, man, that, he's <laughs> going to take every up. bit of that. Yeah, he'll tear it up. <laughs> he'll tear it up. There he'll we, tear we love a good pun. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's strong. All right, we have uh, Chris Powell here from Houndsman XP, and uh, thanks to this guy and a lot of the work he's been doing, Go Wild is filling up with all kinds of gun dog guys and gun dog content, and we want to try to help uh, kind of share a little bit about what Chris has going on with his setup, and we want to try to bring more gear to you guys, more content to you guys, so this is us doing that. So, Chris, thanks for being here, man. We appreciate it. Um, can you walk us through a little bit of, of what you brought and maybe – kind of you know break down some of these different pieces of gear yeah you bet and i appreciate go wild you guys have been you guys have really been good for us and and partnering with us and and everything but yeah we're going to talk about some basic gear that you will need if you're going to start hound hunting and this is not um you know just exclusively for houndsmen any bird dog guy any terrier guy anybody's going to use this gear so uh probably the first part of Part of uh, the gear that we like to use is uh, talk about is the leash, and this is a leash from Dogs Are Treat. It's their Hiker Light Leash, and it's pretty unique, really. Um, it's made out of cable, and you can see how light that is. Yeah. Um, and this is a great leash to have in your pack. You can even stick it in the pocket of a vest. Yeah. You can you can scroll uh, roll it up and put it in your own pocket, yeah. but. Uh, I saw earlier you had it kind of like around your shoulder. Yeah, you that's kind of a standard thing I've, for I've, hound guys. I've you been know? seeing that. Yeah, yeah you, you kind of flip that around there. But the 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 um, hiker light here is kind of unique because it's got snaps on both ends, which is common for a hound leash. But then you can make a loop out of it so that you have a handle in it at that point, hmm. and you can have two dogs on this end. The reason that we always have this snap on this end is if we're when we get to a tree. Uh, a bear tree, lion tree, a coon tree, you know, raccoons, whatever it is, we always tie our dogs back. So you can tie a dog to a tree and still have functionality gotcha. there. Yeah. So that's a leash. So just um, real quick, you have yeah. two fasteners there at the end. What's what's that for? Two dogs. Oh, easy it's enough. A coupler. Okay. Yep, it's built in. It's built in, and the nice thing about uh, these leashes – are for one thing the cable is is a thousand pound test but then every point is heat uh, got shrink wrap on it so that you don't have any sharp edges and then there's there are thimbles actually in there so that ring is not going to wear wear your cable out so that's Mm -hmm. that's a good quality leash and like i said they're they're super easy to pack yeah you can you can stick a bunch of those in a pack and if you've got you know six line dogs out on the ground and you're hiking in three miles yeah you know you can just stick them in there but weight's important in that scenario yeah, you know and people are always saying well my dogs i don't even use leashes you still got to have leashes with you yeah. because you never know what's going to happen you may need to tie dogs up you need, may need to do a lot of different things yeah. that are going to require you to restrain your dog yeah it's a good thing point. it's a thousand pound test because that beast of tough the old oh, terrier in your truck man that, he's <laughs> gonna tear take every up. bit of that yeah he'll tear it up <laughs> He'll tear you in. There we go. We love a good pun. Yeah, Yeah. that's strong. Dad jokes, welcome. Um, Probably the next item is the light. I mean, for especially for coon hunters, um, they're very they're a necessity. Back in the day, it started out with carbide lights, and then I would live through the the early stages of of lights and things like that. But we're talking LED cap lights now. You know, a battery pack. We're talking forty hours of of burn time on this light. You've got color options on this light. Oh yeah. So there's your white white spotlight. So when you're when you're looking for a raccoon in a tree at night, or you're looking at tracks, bear tracks on the ground, or whatever you're doing, you know, then then you're going to use that spotlight side. And then as you're walking, you you can get into yep. a red, you can get into a green. Yep. And then 
you can flip it over and actually at night that'll give you an amber color oh that's mm. cool so it'll give you different different opportunities yeah. so these this side is commonly referred to as the walk light side yeah you know as you're walking through yep. the woods instead of because when you flip over to the high side your spot yeah. side then you're burning battery yeah. yeah this side right here it's got real low amperage draw right and this is the cajun bayou okay um uh, so about yeah. 40 hours on that yeah it's a good one that that low light there the green and red that's familiar as a deer hunter i know that but well <laughs> i like more. that because it, you very clearly have it memorized how to get to whatever and a lot of those headlamps that deer hunters use you got to sit there and cycle, cycle through yeah right but yeah. it looked like you had some better control over what yeah, you're you using on that flip. yep it's it's forward counterclockwise and yep. counterclockwise uh, yep. clockwise and counterclockwise there's a dead spot in the middle yep. this is kind of a neat little light here and this could be a crossover light for uh deer hunters as well but this little light and it actually i'll put it back on the vest i'll show you how easy it is to transition off that vest but i mean feel how light that light is and it it attaches oh, yeah. to this hat right here so you know you're talking about a blood tracking job mm. yeah you're sitting you're doing a stand set in the evening yep. and boom yeah and now we're all out there with our lights and their phones and everything <laughs> yeah, else right. trying to find that this light right yeah. here is capable of uh giving you some pretty serious yeah that's that's going to give you some pretty serious light and you're going to be rolling about again about 40 hour burn time all that's rechargeable what brand yeah. is that one this is a cajun okay that's a yeah. cajun light as well yeah and that battery pack that's a big thing with the headlamps that we use and stuff like you never know i, I keep like three or four in my truck just in case like yeah. oh the battery burned out on that one i got a switch you know so yeah. having 40 hours and recharging that'd be awesome and uh cajun actually builds this vest if you want to hold that up for me just a little yeah, bit there sure. Braden. i'll show you how simple this is to put on the vest so if mm. you it Real attaches quick, there, yep. and you've got a strap right there, oh, just buttons. and now you got hands-free on that. Oh, that's or awesome. you can take it from here, and everything they make is convertible here, too. Oh, that's cool. So it's you can modular. take that light off, Yeah. put that light right here just as easily. Yeah, So that's awesome. And since we're holding the vest, let's talk about this vest real quick. Yeah. Vests are crucial to us because we're carrying a lot of gear. Um, vests are better uh for some of the lighter loads of course i'll carry a pack as well that'll yeah. have first aid kits and stuff but i can put a small first aid kit in here right that's going to save my life tourniquet uh you know things like that can go in the pouch stay on my body all the time yeah uh and then you've got a spot for your garmin um we've got a spot for a two two-way radio right there handheld mm -hmm. then you've got a third pouch over here on the side that you can put a water bottle in mm-hmm and then on this side, you've got a zippered pocket on top, so you can keep your most essential gear that you need to make sure that you're keeping track of, whether it's a phone or whatever. You know, you can secure that. But each, each one of these pockets is zippered on this side. So you can really secure some gear there. Yeah. And then you got a hook and loop closure right there, a bellow yeah. hook and loop closure pocket. So you can really load up some gear on this thing. And... Uh, Always have it on your person instead of right. fishing through your pack, and it's all oh, right yeah. here. So it's load bearing. It's all yeah. on. You know, it's not. It's not pulling down on you like a belt is. Comparable to like a turkey hunting vest, right? You like absolutely having all your stuff right yep. there to. Yeah. So who makes this vest? This uh, is all Cajun okay. light. Okay, I was this about to say because it's compatible lights. modular with mm -hmm. your light system there. Yep. Okay. Right yep. on. That's yep. Awesome. It's all Cajun light. Uh, products so. yeah that's why you would want to go with something like that versus just like your normal turkey hunting vest like you would need something to yeah that's go ahead that light addition there is, yeah, seems like it'd be critical for you guys. i'm still trying to get used to this i'm not used to this feature right here i've used it a little bit yeah but mm -hmm. um it's it's really nice when you're when you're out bear hunting because in the mornings or you're lion hunting you're looking for tracks alongside the road yeah and things like that so You've always got your light there with you, and it easily comes off so that you can use it like a handheld flashlight and, mm -hmm. and shine it around. Yeah. Cool thing about that, though, like having that on your chest basically pointing down, you could have it pointing at the ground, and when you look up, you're not just like shining light. and Like you could have your headset off, right. turned off, and you mm -hmm. could be looking around, and you're not just disturbing the entire woods. You're and shine it in your buddy's eyes. Or shine it in your buddy's <laughs> yeah. eyes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Go ahead and stick it on there. Oh, stick it okay. on there real quick. All right, see, see if you can get it on. All right. Let's see what we got. You're gonna shine it in my face just to just to prove <laughs> just the to point, prove right? The point. <laughs> <laughs> All 
I noticed on the back it had some clips. Is that for – can you attach a pack to the back of this you thing? You can put a game bag on it. Oh, a game bag. Yeah, so, oh. I mean, it's a super versatile I, – I wear it when I rabbit hunt or when I bird yeah. hunt or – you know, whenever I'm hunting and I've got a dog with me, I'm I'm wearing that vest. Yeah, I oh, zipped up my shirt there. Yeah, dude. That's yeah, awesome. so it's good so and light work, too. Work the light there a little bit. Okay, let's see what we got. Kind of get yeah. a feel for it. Yeah, that's awesome. And just what is it? Oh, you just pop it off like that, and you got your. Yep. Nice. That's you, sweet. You can look for blood. You can look for tracks. You can look for, you you know your dogs. You could. It's just just handy to have. And the cool thing about it is, is like if you're you're going walking to a dog late in the evening or whatever towards the end of the afternoon, you've got your light with you. Yeah, <laughs> you right. Know, it's not back at the truck. <laughs> you got it's it on, on your you. chest. Yeah, yeah, no, that's awesome, man. I love it. I'm gonna leave yeah. it on. And then of <laughs> course do the, the show with me on here. Right? <laughs> there you I'm go. A, I'm a gun this, dog this guy. This vest is Braden's now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and of course we got the 200i and uh, the tracking equipment. Um, you guys just did a show on the 200i here a couple weeks ago. Yeah, you know, yeah. and the 15x. That's so, right. That's right. Uh, yeah, well, the cover. On. You can tell. Tell us about the cover because we, we've talked a little bit about the, the the device, but one thing Braden and I hadn't seen was the cover. Yeah, so it's just a gel cover, and uh, pretty available at most Hound Supply places or garment dealers are going to have these gel covers. It just it yeah it just slides, slides right off. Slides right off. So, it, so tell them the the reason that yeah. you do that because I, I I would have just smart. beat my gear to death, but you you talked me out yeah. of that uh, real quick. So I put a screensaver and a gel cover on that because inevitably you're going to be standing out there on the side of the road and somebody's going to say something or your hands are going to be slick, and you're going to drop it. So with the gel cover, then it gives you a little bit of added protection because Garmin changes their equipment a lot and they are worth money for trade in. So protecting it. Yeah. Is equal to some money. Heck yeah, man. <laughs> hit, yeah. hit that buy, sell, trade uh, trail on Go Wild. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's yeah. right. Been fitted with a gel cover its whole life. Yeah, that's hey. right. Yeah. That's a good selling yeah. point. Yeah. Awesome. Oil changes on the regular on this. That's one. right. That's, that's right. right. And of course, the Dakota 283, you got to have something to transport your dog in. So, yeah, just did another show on this specifically. So, if you're interested in anything like the D- Dakota 283 line, this is the G3 Medium. Um, we're carrying all their stuff right now. So, uh, we did a little bit more in depth show with Chris just a little bit ago. Yeah. So, be sure to check that out. Yep. And did we, did we get through all the gear? Yeah. The only so, thing we haven't covered oh, is the okay. radio. So, say, I thought. You know, you can't bear hunt without a radio. Yeah, that's a so. straightforward one right there. Yeah. You gotta have it. What brand yeah. are you using? This is an icon. Okay. And it's a short wave short wave radio. So have you seen the, the Garmin devices that have the, the Yeah, radio what are they called? In? They call those um I wish I knew off the top I, of my head. Now that you ask yeah. me, I can't remember. Sorry, so. I brought yeah, it up. Yeah, but it's got. It's like, like we a, don't know what we're talking about. They they, <laughs> they do have a, a radio d- built into some of them though. Yeah, it yeah. interacts with the drive track, so uh, yeah. you can track dogs, you can track your friends all off of that. Off of that, plus it's got the radio feature, the two-way talk on it. Yeah, we'll put a link to that in the show say. notes on this. We'll, we'll I'll find it. We'll uh, remind ourselves what we're talking about. That's right. <laughs> Before we wrap, Chris, I wanted to have you talk a little bit about your show because this might be the first time people have heard of you. So yeah. promote your show a little bit. You got a cool thing that. You're doing. You're yeah. you're like, this was so high level compared to where you go on your show. You get in the weeds. So tell us a little <laughs> bit about your show, Houndsman XP, and what you guys do. Yeah, we release three shows a week, and uh, Monday show is basically uh, we try to keep that centered on what our original mission was, and that was to talk about conservation of wildlife and hunting with hounds. We wanted to create a show. When we started Houndsman XP, there was no show dedicated to hunting with hounds. And in my previous profession in the wildlife management business, uh, I knew how important it was to try to get that message out there for houndsmen and to keep them on the landscape as part of the management plans in these states. Hound hunting is a low-hanging fruit. The antis come after it, and we often get forgotten about at the high-level meetings. So we wanted to create a show that not only represented who we are and what we do, but also gave us a voice made it more mainstream for the hunting public in general and to educate houndsmen on how to be more effective and how to interact with other hunting groups in a way that's more effective so that we're not left out of those tables or out of those meetings at the table. Because uh, if you're not if you're not at the table, then you're on the menu. So mm. you got to be engaged. You get, and we that's what we do at that show. Wednesday is a deep dive into a lot of dog training stuff. 
uh, we're gonna we cover everything from uh, bird dog training to police dog training to all that stuff, but we always bring it back with parallels of how that applies to houndsmen. Just because a guy's training a bird dog or a police dog doesn't mean that there's nothing there that's applicable for me as a houndsman. So we want up people's ability as trainers. And then Friday, our Friday show right now is uh, more of a, a, a profile show where we, we interview a high, a high profile guest and um, we, we talk to them and get their story. A lot more storytelling on Friday. Who, who are some of the guests people might recognize that you guys have talked to? Oh, we've talked to um, Nikki Hale. We just finished one up with Nikki Hale. Uh, we have talked to this guy that started this social media platform called named Brad Luttrell. <laughs> we've had him on there. Never heard of uh, it. <laughs> uh, no, we've, we've hit a lot of, of – uh, but we also want to talk to – everybody's got a story. And when somebody – we've talked to people that, that were never in on the cover of a magazine. They've never had an article written about them. But they've got a story. Yeah. And it gives – everybody out there something to relate to and think well i could i can do that or that's a takeaway for me i like those kind of shows because you know it, i can go on to any podcast that's that's sizable and find cameron haynes like that's yep. like okay you've heard that guest a lot right a lot of these remy warren i like remy i'm I, but i'm saying like a lot of these guys have been on a lot of shows you know who they are doesn't mean they don't have anything to say but I really enjoy finding guys who I wouldn't have found through another show. And it sounds like you guys do a lot of that, of highlighting people that maybe you haven't heard of, you know? I'll tell you what, there's a lot of badasses out there. <laughs> and just because they've never been featured or they right. never captured the spotlight to do what they do, they've got a story worth telling. And every time I interview these people, I learn stuff. You know, I learn yeah. something. And I don't care if they've been – I've been doing this for 40 years. And when I interview a houndsman that's had five years doing something, I learn stuff from yeah. them. And there's there's always there's always a lesson to be learned there. If you look. Yeah. If you show up and you think you've got it all figured out and nobody can tell you, then start your own podcast. We're not gonna be able to teach you anything. <laughs> you know? Yeah. But we're gonna yeah. share stories. No, yeah. that's awesome. I've seen the impact of Houndsman XP in Go Wild. So I'm somebody that grew up not really knowing a whole lot about houndsmen and things we like that. We gotta get you guys so, out. Uh, we know, we got a newly so minted badass. That's right, right here. <laughs> I'm doing right. So yeah, they your guys and gals are sharing and go wild and I'm learning through what they're doing and yeah. obviously your podcast and things. So I, right. I do agree. We got to get out with you guys some night. I want to come out and figure it because you're too close for us not to figure this out. Right. So I'm, I'm going to say this on air. Braid, at least Braden and I are going to figure this out. <laughs> and we're going to come hang out with you guys some night. Cause yeah, I, I, I I've action. hunted with, uh, with dogs, but it, it's like bird hunting and it's a little, it's a lot different than what I think you guys do. And mm -hmm. I want to get out and experience that. So, uh, we're going to figure that out. Um, we're going to wrap this show. Make sure you guys log this show. Uh, real. Oh, when, is this gonna is this gonna come out before their uh giveaway no this will be after okay so just know you that missed you missed it. out just know <laughs> yeah. it's too late you know you should have you should have been on go wild and figured that out That's so great. um all right we've got chris with houndsman xp this is Braden ware and I, i'm brad luttrell thank you guys for listening go to the plus sign hit log time go to outdoor podcast you can log this show and get points on go wild which you can redeem for rewards on on you a bet. lot of stuff including things like this kennel those garments so make sure you log in the shows thanks guys